Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we're playing with Unblockable Simic Aggro Artifacts. Yeah, this deck, it was just too long to put that name up there, so we just went with Simic Artifacts. But I gotta tell you, the Unblockable and Aggro are definitely felt when you play this particular deck. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. Tune in to my second channel where I focus on my daily beauty and makeup regimen, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my, say with me, secret underground headquarters. I heard you. And I'm bringing to you a deck that, uh, well, I gotta say, I I found it over on TapGG. In reality, it, it was something I've been thinking about for a while now. Let me get to it. So the deal is, is I, I said, you know what? I really like Cryptic Code. Cryptic Code is kick-ass. Totally kick-ass. What's kick-ass about it? It's the fact that you get like a 3-2 like a with unblockable and potentially you could bounce it back to your hand and leave the other thing out there as a converted guy and then cast it again and i thought you know what else is three two and unblockable surge engine i thought you know what would be great four crypto coats and four surge engines because this means you just have like multiples of three unblockable coming at people turn after turn after turn for relatively cheap that's what i thought and i said Oh, man, totally. That's what I'm going to do. Let me see about putting together a deck. And I thought, what kind of deck would be good with that? And so I said to myself, self, because, you know, I call myself self all the time. I said, self, what kind of deck would be good with that? And I was looking around. And I thought, you know what? Simic Artifact. Because you know what else would be good in there? Ginger Brute, right? Because we need more unblockable artifacty kind of guys. What else sounds really good? Yeah, Zoetic Glyph. Absolutely. Why is that? Because that we can actually use it to pump up like Ginger Brute and other stuff. So I ended up taking yeah the the, the Simic, Simic Artifact deck I got off of uh, Untapped GG, and I ended up uh, swizzling around a little bit, got rid of some stuff, ended up pumping up Surge Engine, Cryptic Coat, and uh, this is the deck we ended up playing today. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in the deck real quick. We'll talk a little bit how this deck should work, and then we're going to go out, and we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. All right, what do we got? We got uh, something that puts out a clue token. We got another guy that puts out a map token. And we got a guy that gets bigger every time some sort of artifact hits the, the, the battlefield for yourself. Under your control, you gain a life. And it get, if it's the first time resolved, it gets a popo counter. So this guy grows. This is an unblockable 1-1 one, one artifact. This is an unblockable 3-2 artifact, essentially. And it can be pumped up to a 5-4. This guy basically is able to... to, to fight on behalf of your slow dudes so like you put a guy out you just like jump out there and use this thing to do it and it kind of pumps them up this guy turns your uh artifact tokens into four fours cryptic coat turns your top card into an unblockable three two uh this thing is control it'll get rid of artifacts and players or not players and creatures uh this guy turns your artifacts into five fours and then when it gets wiped out you get to discover for three, which can bring another Zoetic Glyph back potentially. And this guy comes out with a uh, map token. So as you can see, we got a lot of little artifact. We got artifact guys that come out. We got artifact tokens that come out. Mirex puts out artifact token guys. And we got the ability to pump those dudes up, as well as we got a lot of evasion and unblockable guys. Will they be able to hold up against this particular deck? Sources say no. All right, so what are we doing? We're getting out lots of little dudes. We're turning them into grand attackers. And we're rushing in with guys that can't be blocked and killing them. All right, that's it. That's the deck. Now, before we go out, let's do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to 
crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we're playing against Jimmy Pony. Jimmy Penny. Jimmy Penny. We got two mana. All right, I think we get to the third. We did not get to a third, but we'll go ahead and pop out the guys that we got. We're coming at you. We're coming. Go get him. Go get him, Ginger Brute. All right, I see one more so we can put out a cryptic coat. That guy is face awesome. There we go. If I had an extra mana, I'd go ahead and pay for the ginger root to swing in, but that's not happening. He's unblockable, I believe. Yeah, can't be blocked. I have two unblockable guys out right now. Of course, we got a guy that can, I think, kill artifacts. That's not cool. Uh, let's just kill him. How's that sound? He's just going to go for the pop. No, it's right. He's not an artifact. Cryptico it is, though. Yeah! Uh, all three of those are not able to be blocked by our boy there, so you just have to take that damage, which is going to equal five... Yeah, because he's colorless, I always think that he's an artifact. I mean, the Cryptic Coat is an artifact. If he was smart, he'd know he can go after it. All right, the Beast Color is getting kind of big. We just kind of have to ignore it, unfortunately. And there goes the kill of the artifact. That discover on it or anything? Nope. Actually, I know you are. You're super awesome guy, number ten thousand. My turn. I have to pay for that. Apparently, more than that, huh? All right. Uh. 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 Crypto coat. I, I would like to turn the face down card up. How much is that going to cost me, though? Do I have enough mana or something? I don't know. I can't do it. I thought it would be the three. So I'm going to chump. Chumping sounds fun. All right. Can I flip you now? Nope. Can I never flip you back? Is that the problem? Can I flip him if I wanted to? What is he anyway? Just that little. Okay. You can stay that way, my friend. All right. Uh, tough cookie it is then. Or we can do this. Hard hitting question. Wait. Oh, you lived through it. Congratulations. All right. Anyways, that's just four. Yeah, it looks like face down card is unflippable at this point. And he's my favorite. I wanted to Zoetic Glyph things.
I guess his name is now Chump. Three mana, I completely wasted it. So let's just not worry about it. That's like a next turn thing. Uh, is that really guy going to get us anything? It's not what I want to play. Let's do it again. And. All right, looks like chumps are just going to have to chump. He's got a lot of beef up there, though. I also have to chump uh, one of the other two guys, let the other guys through. What do we got there? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Chump. All right, so I'm doing five. That's all there's to it. You can't do anything about it. And we win! In your face, Davy Jones! In your face! Alright, we're playing against Lutz Lutcher. Lutcher. Fighter 3. Alright, we got uh, the case of the Filched, the Filched Falcon. This is what a glyph. That could definitely get us going, having some good stuff going by turn three. Turn four, we can start hitting some hard stuff. And yeah, we'll leave it this way. Here, look like that. That feels better. There we go. There's our big boy. He just as know it, he's going to be attacked viciously by a boot. In the news today, some dude on arena was attacked viciously by a boot. Looks like I was just attacked by something as well. Crap happens, man. All right, where are we going with this? We've got a hard-hitting question. I could take out two guys with the same... Oh, dang it, all the hell. Welcome back, Search Engine. I'm glad to see you. No blocks. There right, we go. We can take some stuff out. This is how it happens. Number one, the hard hitting question stuff. A lot like this. Boink, boink. And then number two, we turn, tune that guy up. Number three, let's put out Tough Cookie. No, no, cancel. We can do the surgeon out. That's fine. And I'll end. All right, you got the ability to do two points of damage to me. Congratulations. I got some non-creature artifacts out here. Ninja! He's just going to draw cards from that one. All 
All right, number one, let's get this guy tuned up. Number two, let's get out a nameless city. And he's going to pop out a little artifact, baby. All in for six. All right, I have only got six left. Hopefully that's plenty enough there. I could use this to turn that thing into a nice bird if I want to. All right, come at me, bra. See blocking in my future. You could try to make another ninja out of the deal. I'm going to block. I'm a blocker. That's my course of action. You got some good ninjas in there? Nope. I gotta tell you, you gotta do six points of damage or you're dead. Only five. Alright, you're hoping to be able to bounce, is what you're like. Well, you don't have any creatures to block with either. Alright, one blocker. Two blockers. Ah, ah, ah. Here, you can block these two guys. How does that sound? And we win! <laughs> win a winner! Victory dinner! All right, we're playing against Sp Spirit Wind. Keep. That's totally the way it's pronounced. All right, I'm ginger rooting it. I need to get some hasty attacks in. Because. My inner goblin demands the aggro. All right, two. Uh, look at everything I'm laying out. That is glorious. I want to throw a cryptic coat next turn is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. I could use it to kill that, but I'm not going to. All right, let's keep it up. Three mana, and I could do this to, to create and to turn something into a 4-4. Four, four. Just stealing my poor baby is what you're doing. I'll just pop this, it's fine. And one and two. Down to six. You got some more, uh... Nope, as I said, do you have any life gain in your mix? Because it's not looking good for you otherwise. That's it. You lost. And we win! Left, right, turn four. Victory! All right, we're playing against T. Franton. From Franton Comes Alive. One, two, three. I'm living with it. All right, keep. All right, go for the aggro. All right, I'm going to Spyglass. Aggro up. And here we go. I don't have anybody with muscle yet. All right, here's three. 
Let's uh, put the glyph out. How's that sound? All right, we seen a werewolf deck. Is that the deal? You can't block either. Well, you can block this guy over here. Guess you don't want to, huh? You just wanted to go after the flyer. You got to get your. You got to throw that wolf up into the air. Then you might be able to catch him. Just chuck that puppy up there. No blocks. I'll come at you aggro style. Don't worry, baby. Oh, damage, damage to any target. Anything I do to him will just be bounced back on me like a sucker, huh? All right, you're unblockable. You're the guy I'm looking for. I could just pop him right now. Let's just go to combat. We're fine. Ah, oh, let's force the question. Here we go. Is he going to try to kill my Zoetic Glyph, or is he going to go to my face? I'm guessing he's going after the Glyph. I just wanted him to only kill one creature. If I would have gone to combat, two would have been gone. Let's, let's pump you up. Let's give you some artifact roids there. Unblockable ginger brute. And we win! Suck it! Suck it! Hmm. Alright, up and against Red Kniggit Kings. Red Kniggit Kings. Do three. Ooh, a nice collection of stuff. I'll buy that for a dollar. I gotta put out teething room at first, like a sucker, though. Don't get to go all aggro with my ginger brute, like one would hope. All right, number two. Uh, let's not do it. Let's put this guy out. That's fine. We'll play it like a sucker. Alright, do I want to take this storm out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if he'll, he'll play that game. Nope. He values Captain Storm way too much. Okay, Zoetic Glyph. Is he willing to give up the Scalawag? Goblin monkeys. Absolutely he is. We can totally roid up on the Ginger Brute next turn too. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, discover. Ooh, look what we get. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. All right, down to seven. I got a coat. He wants to kill stuff. We pass around six next turn. Unblockable. Or I guess it can be blocked. He just doesn't wanna. Come on, you can do it. I got some killing to do. All 
All right. The question is: Does he have to make the ability to make breaches stronger? I don't care. We'll go for it. He's got to waste his stuff. Otherwise, he's flashing his cards. He thinks he could do something about it. You're just gonna go ahead and double block me there. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom. All right, what are we going to discover? Ooh, another Crypto Coat. That's it, man. Your fate is sealed. All right, you're swinging for four. Everything I got is unblockable. And there we go. Ooh, taste of victory. Victory. All right, we're playing against Fluck. luck. Alright, two mana. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Keep. Boy, we don't have any artifacts here. Let's keep the dragon sleeping. It's funny, I'm not a big fan of what we're looking at here. What we'll do is we'll play this. We'll go for the teaming word like auto pay. A lot of blood being paid, spilled of my own. Just to get my own cards out. That is ridiculous. But what I see is I can play the case on the next turn. It'll pump him to two. Get this guy out slow. Still can't do anything until I get to three. There's our, our next mana. I'll play this slow, though. All right, there we go. We got a little bit of beef. We can put out a Cryptic Coat unless we need to pin something down. He's playing gruelish looking colors up there. He's got five colors, technically. I don't see black yet. Just a matter of time. I got a boot that's going to be coming right at her face here in a second. Destroyed her. All right, never mind. It's not happening. Uh, you do not take out Planeswalkers. You only go out for artifacts or creatures. Cryptic Coat. Let's go after her. And hard hitting question it for all the rest of the way. All right, we had to waste. I didn't appreciate that, but planeswalkers sometimes be planeswalking. Playing the candle game where you try to make sure all six of them are out at a time. I'm not sure it's possible. Once you start messing up in a circle, it's even worse. That is not an artifact. All right, super cool commando number five. Let's go ahead and do surge engine. All right, you're going to chump. Oh, I love it. All right, chump away, chumpy chumperstein. Okay, remind me to flip Surge Engine on his turn. I just want to pretend I can do something. Not that it would stop me from doing anything. Just because someone's showing one mana.
I uh, put a guy out. Congratulations. All right, and you are going to get behind the wheel of this fine subterranean scooter. Chomp. Chomp. Uh, yeah, I need I need three mana to make that guy better, but we keep able to do you. We control three or more artifacts, and I control two. All right, we can get that subterranean scooter going if I wanted to. What do we got? Four mana. He's got another one. Don't make me cart sale, cart sale larcenous you again. Uh, okay, I'm not sure I care. There we go. That's who I have to kill. All right, my turn. Grabbed another, spit this guy out, get the uh, TD Wormlet all buff up. Buff. All right, and you can get behind the wheel this time. And in we go. Nope. All right, because I don't care if he wants to kill the schooner and jump in front of it, man. One of your guys will die. That's all that matters to me. You're going to jump in front of the wormlet then. All right, good for you. If you double up on it, they're both going to die because he's got death touch. All right, you're going to need to wipe a board, man. What you don't know is I got Zoetic. You don't have a Zoetic Glyph. That's five points right there. Also, I can probably pop that thing and get a 4 4 coming at you. I got. I got a lot. I am just. Hacking for elephant right now. Uh, let's see. So put out the ginger brute. This is just a whole bunch of unblockable kind of stuff, right? All right. So there's the five. All right, jump in front. You just got one chump, and everything else is unblockable. Flash the good game, and we win. Man, this deck just is smoking them. Victory. All right, so here we are with uh, our unblockable Simic Aggro Artifacts. That's a lot to say, but this deck is rocking, and on all of those words, unblockable Simic Aggro aggro artifacts man it was a fantastic deck i think the only thing i had to worry about would be like board wipes or something that would be the thing you'd have to worry about other than that it seemed like we were just doing really well um yeah it was fantastic all right so let's uh let's see who's the mvp who is the most valuable player um you know, I was going to say, I love Zoetic Glyph. I think that it usually it's the most valuable player that's in this deck. Yet, because it could be blocked, it was not unblockable. It wasn't it. Uh, 
cryptic coat is just incredible in my opinion because it comes out as a uh what is it like a like a like a three two or something that's unblockable and then you get to discover is that the deal no not at all i you have to pay to return it back to your hand i need to pay attention i thought it was discover but you're right i have to pay to get it back to my hand but i can at any particular point and that's great and then just start using it to put out another guy this is so much value I can say Surge Engine is, of course, just fantastic. The combo between Ginger Brute and Zoatic Glyft is fantastic. Our ability to turn all our little tokens into active attacking things by way of Zoatic Glyph, Tough Cookie, and uh, God, I don't know, there was some other third one in here somewhere. I thought. I can't think of what it is at this particular point. Anyways, it was doing really, really good. All right, so yeah, uh, God, who's our MVP? I'm going to go ahead and pick on Crypto Coat. I think you are the MVP. I mean, Surge Engine is so good because it's un unblockable, but you're unblockable and you have the ability to come in, come back out. Um, you're not... God, maybe Surge Engine's got the value to it. You just feel like you're able to be protected a little bit better. I'm just going to pick it. I'm going to pick Crypto Coat. No reason to keep him in and on about it. Congratulations, Crypto Coat. You're going to Disneyland. All right, was this deck competitive? Man, I ended up getting an 88%. Out of eight games, I only lost one. And that was because I just kept getting uh, just nothing but lands and uh, non-artifacts somehow. I mean, in this deck, how do you get non-artifacts? It was just, I just kept, you know, I think I got out the tokens, but I couldn't turn them into anything. No creatures. It was just, just really nutsy. But that barely ever happened. One time out of eight games... Yeah, this deck just just stormed the vast majority of the time. Uh, it really wanted to come out. It had a tremendous impact. It was fast. I beat people down by turn four sometimes, like I was playing red aggro. It was just insane. So yeah, yeah, this deck is completely competitive in my opinion, and I think it's going to do very well. All right, number two, was this deck fun? Absolutely. I mean... My inner aggro was appeased by the fact that it had Ginger Brute in it, so I could put out a dude on turn one and do one point of damage with haste. And then if I had another one out, that means on turn two, I was doing two points of damage on turn two. Oh, that is so fantastic. Uh, Teething Wormant likes to grow. Uh, you know, a lot of other things are putting out little token babies. We had the ability to turn those into gigantic super dudes. Yeah, it was working out really great. This deck had such a a growth factor to it. A hard hitting question gave us a little bit of control. We only had two of them in there, but uh, all together, yeah, it was a pretty decent deck. All right, so but yeah, it was fun. It was a it was a fast deck. What I liked is that usually you won by mid game. Things did not last very long. It was an aggro deck, absolutely. Lastly, was this deck interesting? And you know, Semic artifacts has been around. You're seeing it still. Um, I really wanted to focus, like I ended up throwing Cryptic Coat in there because that was the thing. I said to myself, I want to play a deck that has Surge Engine and Cryptic Coat in it. Why? Because both of them are unblockable and are fairly strong. You know, one can get up to being a five, but it also starts off as being a three, essentially. And Cryptic Coat starts off as being a three. And one thing we know from playing other kind of aggro, like green aggro decks, is that three is all you need to really win a game. As long as you hit fast and you hit early, and you hit with a lot, three multiple times is enough to take people out by turn four and turn five. In this case, we're throwing out a bunch of unblockable stuff. Because why do we have unblockable? Ginger Boot was unblockable. Surge Engine unblockable. Crypto Coat was unblockable. Spyglass Siren was flying, you know, so you got evasion in here too. Um, you could take Zoetic Coat, put it on Ginger Boot, make it into like a 5-4 unblockable guy. Yeah, so really what I was really hoping is to maximize the unblockable. And I thought Simic Artifact looked a good framework to put it in. And I got to tell you, it absolutely was there. So, yeah, I thought this was an interesting deck. I loved how it did. It really focused more on the unblockableness than we have seen in other Simic Artifact decks. Great job. Great job. All right, so let's add this up. Was it competitive? Check plus. Was it fun? Absolutely. Was it interesting? Yes, it totally was. All right, so there we go. That makes this into an A-plus deck. And as I'm required to say by federal law, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, 
please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.